All right, so you're looking at me now, but you're telling me stuff and you want me to react to it. So talk. Okay. Right. So we're learning about YouTube. We are learning we're about making, YouTube. We're going to be making, we're making a video. We're making a vlog. The vlog is about the, the, the vlog tips off of what we did last week. Last week we did prints that don't, don't sell. sell. This week we're doing prints that sell. It's perfect. There are certain things that you have to do when you're putting stuff on YouTube. There are. I don't know what they are. John's telling me about it. He's pretending that I'm supposed to act like I really know what I'm doing. But I don't. Look how old I am. I didn't grow up with this stuff. Oh! So, here we are. We're having a little Seinfeld moment. I'm Kramer. You're Jerry, all right? Well, we're, so, we're, what am I getting wrong? We're 47 seconds into the video. Okay, well, what happens 40, at 47 seconds? 47 seconds of so video generally, gold. This is what I would say. <laughs> I would say, now you know the subject of the video, but I want to remind you, hit the subscription button and click the notification bell to get my next video. Let's all right, I want to remind you, we're 47 seconds into this video about 15 seconds ago. I want you to hit the subscription button and ring a bell somewhere. What bell? I don't know anything about a bell on YouTube. What are I'll you show you. We'll like, cut to show me, me showing you. All right, why don't we just tell them as they're watching this, there's a bell. Where is it? Uh, let's, let's go to a computer. Let's go into your studio. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so now, like, say you're, you're somebody that's on YouTube. You would hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. If you really like the video, so you hit subscribe. Uh huh. Now you're subscribed. Now okay. right next to it is a notification bell. So if you click that. Oh shit, look at that. Yeah. Right. It says on the bottom, you'll get all notifications. And that's what we want to encourage people to do right off the bat. Because a lot of people will see a video that they really like. Yeah. But if the subject doesn't communicate with them what you need them to do to help your channel grow, then you won't have as much growth as you could. It's a relationship between the viewer and the subject. Now you want to continue with Prince itself? Yeah, we can continue with okay, Prince itself. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Prince that sell. I'm here today to talk to you about my most successful print. It's the fish Ferris wheel. And the fish Ferris wheel has a lovely story attached to it because almost any story attached to an image that's this involved becomes that. And the essence of, uh, the origin of this story was a postcard that I got in a Vienna airport that uh, I had a layover in. I was actually coming home from Italy. It was a postcard of the Ferris wheel that was used in the movie called The Third Man. And if you're not familiar with that movie, there's one of the greatest scenes in cinematography. Orson Welles is talking to Joseph Cotton. And they're on the top of the Ferris wheel looking down at this town square. Anyway, I knew this right away when I got the postcard because of the city I was in, being aware of the movie. And the reason why I bought the postcard was because I love the colors. They're all muted, misty green. It was taken probably by from a rooftop or a helicopter in the morning. There's all this morning water in the air. And I'm very interested in changing my palette by finding photographs that. I could just tape to a painting while I'm doing it and say to myself, these are terrific colors. Why don't you try to go for this today? I started the Fish Ferris Wheel before I did the Turtle Series. And <clears throat> I just wanted to take this particular structure and be, have it be part of my work. And a lot of the, a, a lot, one of the elements that I commonly put in my work is water. So I took the Ferris Wheel and I thought I'd put, I, I said to myself, put it in the ocean. You can have people take a ferry out to wherever it is in the ocean and then use the Ferris wheel. And I thought, that's convoluted. It's not really a solid idea. There's too much storytelling in there. And I didn't go with it. A couple of months later, I said, oh, what if I put fish bowls on the Ferris wheel and make it for fish? And then I thought, that's a great idea. That's, what stopped me then was, 
The amount of detail that's in this painting is just insane. If you get close to the water with the camera, you can see that everything's outlined three times. So this thing ruminated with me for about a year before I started working on it. But what really makes a painting happen with me is if I can't stop thinking of the final result. Prints of this painting are available for sale. I have a Facebook shop that's, a, that's open right now for paper prints. If you come to the Staven Museum, presently you can buy prints of the painting in turtle frames. And the turtle frames are frames where I made the molding and made sconces that are on the top and bottom that are turtles, the front and back of a turtle. And the price range in the Staven Museum is $1,500 to $1. The $1 version is this postcard, okay? The $1,500 version. All right, so here we are in front of a print. The prints are made by me, and the thing that's really great about making prints is I can play with the colors a little bit, and the prints on the original are a little muted, and to repaint the whole painting so that everything can get more vibrant, I had no interest for them. Every time I make a print, I play with it a little bit, so they're all unique. This is the same size of the painting, 32 wide, 48 tall. This particular turtle frame is on natural colored wood, just with a clear coat on it, and the turtle sconces are light mint green. I was feeling tropical this day when I put the, when I put this product together. These frames are going to change with whatever whimsy comes into my thoughts as far as how I want to see them portrayed color-wise. And so this these are this is examples of what you find on my Facebook page. These are paper prints. There's other prints that sell. But this is the print that really sells. And this is a print my wife actually wrote a book about, and my kid is going to be illustrating with me. So it's a family affair. We're glad you're a part of it. Glad to have you be a part of this little process. John, is there anything that I'm missing that you'd like me to throw in? You want to thank people for making it this far in the video. Oh, you made it this far in the video. Come by. <laughs> We're friends. And then you remind them once again, not to forget to subscribe and you'll see them next time. Ring that bell.